Pisces, 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 my sensitive, loving, adorable, everybody loves you, Pisces. Pisces, why do you guys be doing what you do to the people? You say what the call, what do we do to the people? Child, don't even, don't even act like you don't know. Every single time somebody calls me, I said, it's a Pisces, huh? Oh my God, you're a psychic. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh God, Pisces, I don't know if this is you or if this is her. See, I, you know what? I'm on a dating site now, and I just met this Puerto Rican Pisces, and I know how they get to the heart. I said, I'm watching you. Because, <laughs> see, y'all so sweet, generally. Y'all so sweet that you get into people's hearts. But, you know, there was a Pisces, uh, there was a Pisces reader, and... We had exchanged numbers, and my heart would never open up to her. And I always look at that as a sign. Like, if my heart doesn't open up to you, something ain't right. And so, I was so glad when we had a falling out, because I didn't quite know how to tell her that I didn't want to be bothered anymore. But yes, yeah, so anyway, um, we have the Nine of Swords, darling. <laughs> so somebody is full of anxiety, probably over you, Pisces. Probably over you. You see, Nicole, I just be trying to be myself, yeah. <laughs> well, you guys know how charming you are. You know how lovable you are, Pisces. Most of us just want to kiss our Pisces and love our Pisces because you're just so sweet. And then you'll use tears. Okay, now you know tears gets to a woman's heart. It's like, oh, please don't cry. Please don't cry. But this one guy, I was not attracted to him. <laughs> and he, I could tell he was trying to make himself cry so that I would, you know, he was like, look at me. I crying. No shit, Sherlock. I can tell. I see tears coming down your face. I know what that is. And it was actually making me lose my appetite. Because it, it just kind of looked nasty. <laughs> I was like, oh, I hope he would dry his tears, child. <laughs> and Pisces, you know how they say Libras. I'm about to get to your reading. I'm about to get to your reading. They say Libra's like, um, you know, nice things. He had the nurse to come to my house with stinky feet. And he laid up in my bed like we was about to do something with stinky feet. I know y'all like feet. How would you do? Oh, do y'all kinky, huh? Y'all like stinky feet? Yeah. <laughs> What's up with it? <laughs> anyway, Pisces, this is either you or somebody else is like just... Full of a lot of anxiety. Honey, you can get something for that. I, I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to push drugs or anything, but it's $35. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I see that some anxiety and fears have escalated around your partner or about your partner or just... Maybe you're embarking on something new. Maybe you, maybe it's the holidays. But um, I see, I don't know, like either you're creating some type of nightmare scenario in your head and it's keeping you up at night or somebody is up at night thinking about you. And, um, and you're very attractive. 
and And it could be physically and definitely, um, well, you guys, you know you're emotionally attractive, you know, like, <sighs> there is this Puerto Rican Pisces, and I'm watching her, I'm watching her, you know, because I know how you guys can get into the heart. So this is how I deal with Pisces. I fucks with them once a week. Mm-hmm. Cause I, cause you know that sweetness is so sweet, and I gotta step back, cause, cause y'all got another side. So either somebody has seen that other side, and they're crying over you, and they still are up at night because the connection was so powerful. Excuse this nail; it just broke yesterday. I gotta get that. But anyway, the connection was so powerful here, right? So, um, yeah, somebody could actually have some mental health issues with this card, right? You could be uh, just really having a rough time. Like, or if you're single, you might be, or somebody who used to deal with you is feeling, maybe they're just full of a lot of remorse, sadness, and regret, Okay, I feel like the obstacle for you or someone who used to deal with you or someone who is dealing with you or someone who you're dealing with, someone who, I mean, I don't know who the fuck this is. Who knows what the cards are picking up on, baby? I don't know because some of y'all got some popcorn in saying, I wonder who she's talking to. Chad, I don't know. All right, Three of Swords is the challenge, my darlings. I feel like, I don't know, this is, um, somebody is in a lot of tears and sadness and heartbreak. And it could be you, it could be someone close to you, this could be your twin, this could be over a person, place, or a thing, this could be over losing a baby, losing a job, losing an opportunity, losing a friend, or the holidays, but I don't know why. But somebody close to you who you really care about or in somebody, you know, I don't know. This could be anybody, child. But if you're in a relationship, um, this can kind of point to a breakup or some type of conflict or separation or someone is hurting about this. So since there's three people, it can also kind of point to the a third party creating trouble. Like you and your partner may have to face some like difficult problems in order to remain together. Because without clear and respectful discussions and a willingness to work together, the relationship can, um, you know, really be struggling. And if you're single, it might be some type of past grief and, su and suffering that's affecting your ability to date. Maybe some past wounds haven't been healed yet. And it's kind of time, it's important for you to give yourself the space to heal but I, I really think what's going on, Pisces, is I think that I'm reading this. Okay, Pisces. I'm re oh, fuck. I wish I had it in here. I'm reading this book called Breaking the Chains of Low Self-Esteem. And it's a really painful book. It's not painful, but it's kind of embarrassing. You know, because sometimes I can read a book and I can't relate to it, but I can relate to a lot of things in that book. And I really hate that shit. But one of the things she says is that people with low self-esteem have a really kind of twisted way of looking at shit. And it makes things much worse than what they are. Not that your thoughts are not clear, because some of you have legitimate reasons to be feeling like this. But for the few of you, you know, it might, it might benefit you to say, damn, okay, how am I looking at things? How am I looking at this? How am I looking at this? How do I need to look at this? Okay. I hope my little two cents help. Okay. But let's move on with your reading. Oh, so it looked like uh, there was some type of separation that happened drastically between friends or 
an organization or there is some type of humiliating experience or people are playing dirty in order to win, right? But a lot of this is happening in your head. Like this is how you are interpreting incoming reality. And we always think that our interpretation of reality is accurate. But sometimes when you're feeling really emotional, it's kind of hard to uh, maybe see as clearly as you could see things once the emotions kind of die down a little bit. So I feel like some of you are uh, in your feelings and that, that's kind of gotten you in your head. But see, feelings come from how you think, right? I hope I'm helping somebody. Okay, so let's get some advice because those cards are pretty harsh, okay? So, and this may not resonate with you and so sometimes the cards will talk to the people that need it the most. How do I know when to stop? It starts burning, okay? But I'm going to let the, um, I'm going to let the, the charms choose. And I'm going to get a different deck to clarify. Yeah, Pisces. See, you guys are real sweet and emotional, babies. And you guys have to make sure that you have emotional boundaries. That's why. When you have emotional boundaries, you don't feel other people's emotions. But when you don't have no emotional boundaries, you feel everybody's emotions. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, Pisces. All right, let's see what's going on with Pisces this week. Regards to love, Pisces, love. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay, so the third, it's so funny because it was the third column that was the warmest, and that's what the, the uh, the charms chose, and it said to read it up. I definitely feel like there is a very strong presence of a uh, Libra, okay? We're getting the justice. Some of you could have legal issues. Some of you could be really concerned about some legal issues, or from these cards, you could be getting a divorce. And you're, you're really hurt and you are beating yourself up because your heart is really hurt about a separation, right? And it seems like for some of you, mental health issues could have been involved. Like your wife could have been bipolar. You know, you could have had to step away from someone because their character was just way beneath your standards and your values, right? But I definitely feel like mental health issues is definitely involved here, okay? Okay, so, uh, yeah, it looks like somebody doesn't want to work something out with you anymore because either they don't want to be a part of a third party, judgment is reverse, or you want your partner to stop seeing other people, but it seems like you know, maybe you or the partner could possibly be poly, right? Um, but the cards are saying if that's the case, you really don't have anything to worry about because, it. well, if it's you, Pisces, that is poly, then, you know, that's just kind of like, what's up? I don't, you know, it's not your fault that you are who you are. People accept it or they don't. You just might have to find a way to communicate about it or not. 
So if it's you and you're the Pisces and you are involved with the person, he ain't going nowhere, child. I know, but I feel like it still makes you feel bad. I don't know if it's your person stepping out or your, you are getting a divorce or it could be anything because it's a general reading. Um, but damn, you got, yeah, somebody's getting a divorce. Or you really, truly, deeply hate it that you're, that you're sharing your partner. And if that doesn't say, if that's not it, then I don't know. There's something about, there's a truth that maybe you're suppressing. That you're not really living. Because maybe it's like, no, no, there's judgment. You got double judgment. Because I um, multiply. I use two decks sometimes. You got two judgments against, I don't know, like something is in the closet or something is, is quiet. And you got two judgments against this. I feel like some of you is are pregnant and you could be pregnant by somebody else than your husband. Right? And you might be thinking that maybe I should, I don't know, you know. You don't know what to do. You don't know who daddy is. Because it could be, you know, a couple of people. All right. Okay, so the next that we're going to take a look at is the Three of Swords. And uh, we have the Hermit. The Seven of Swords. And the King of Swords. So, now this could mean anything, okay? But the hermit talks about going within and so getting seeking either counsel outside of yourself. But see, to me, the hermit, because it's a major arcana, its wisdom is deep. So and then it has a light in front of it, like I'm searching knowledge. So you guys could be reading books, reading the Bible. I feel like you're getting wise from this situation. Like, it's like your game is just going to be sharper. You just are going to know how to handle shit better. And I really feel like you're really trying to grow right now from whatever is going on. And, oh, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West have Pisces moons. Oh, that's right. Okay, well, one of them, both of them are crying. Kim is acting all strong and everything, but she really misses Kanye. But she thinks that he has mental health problems. And Kanye, for instance, just so that you have something to relate to. And Kanye is feeling like, damn, I fucked up. But they're both really hurt about this separation. But both of them are learning. Both of them are learning and growing from this. So if you're in a relationship, um, I don't know if this is really applicable, but I just kind of feel that from what I'm sensing, I don't think that it's as bad as it is, as it seems, because a lot of this is just happening in your head. It's like, yes, something is happening that is challenging. But I think that one of the things that you can do to get through the holidays a little bit better is like um, understand that it may not be as bad as it seems. You may be needing you need to take another perspective that will empower you because right now you're in the dark about some shit that's going down. Right. You need to see it in another light. Like, um, I really am attracted to this content creator and I have been manifesting communication from this hot ass chick and, uh, I manifested it and the whole time when I wasn't around her, I would imagine us having an emotional connection that was very sweet and very loving and very close and safe. And when I finally reached out, she responded to me from that emotionally sweet, loving, tender space 
that I have been giving out to her. People will respond to you what you're giving out, right? But sometimes what we're giving out may be as a result of some other shit, but not what's really happening right now. That's all I'm saying, you know? Yeah, she came back at that same loving, sweet vibe. Because, see, I'm really trying to manifest this. So, I will... A, oh, Pisces! Oh, y'all gonna love this. Whew. So the manifestation teacher, this white lady, her name is Millie Fox. I just took her class for five days on Facebook. And she said what people are doing wrong with manifesting is looking at what you want only makes you want it more. She said, ah, oh, Pisces, you're going to love that you tuned in. She said you need to already feel like it has already happened. So she doesn't want you looking at anything. She doesn't talk about visualizations. She, she doesn't even want you to have a damn vision board. She just wants you to feel like it's already happened and do things that's going to nurture that feeling. Write it out or do whatever it takes to nurture that feeling like it already happened. So I had begun to see communication or feel it. What do I mean by that, Pisces? I Now, this girl got 800,000 followers. So everybody is clamoring for her attention, right? Because I want you to feel better. But what I did was I just imagined, so this is you and your man, or you and your woman, right? An emotional connection, so I went to my heart. You guys can do this better than anybody. And in this emotional place, I imagine us being very soft. So, uh, you know, my heart got a little warm, and I saw, you know, us like maybe rubbing faces. And I really like her, so... I let my heart just get filled with my uh, like of her. And then I received it back. And I kept it uh, very tender. Every time I thought about her, I would go to this very tender place. So when I reached out to her, when she responded back, first of all, she responded back. She has a blue check, check her place on her name, right? When she responded back, it was from that tender, sweet, hold on, let me get to that email so I can feel it. Oh my God, she was like, oh my God, I miss this. I just woke up. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. This is what I know. And uh, she said, contact me anytime. I am here for you. And then she gave me words of encouragement, right? So, I don't know what's going on, but you might want to, you know, oh, you guys are mutable. You guys can do it like that. Yeah, you might kind of want to listen to some manifestation tapes again or really ask the tapes. Now, how, did I just show my age? Or, you know, like, um, yeah, you know, what do I want to feel? What do I want my person to feel? What do... What do I want to feel in this connection? Right? All right. So, the world is reversed. Oh, we already looked at that. Okay. The world is reversed with the Page of Wands. Okay? How much more time do we have? Oh, my God. So, um... I feel like you want to move on or maybe your person has moved on. I feel like somebody had no choice but to let you go or you had no choice to let someone else go because, you know, things weren't moving forward. Or like Rihanna, you could be very terrified that Rocky's going to jail and you're up at night because the court date is coming and there might be a very drastic separation between you and your partner that's just going to break your heart because you guys have children 
and the world is reversed. It's not completely over, but, you know, she'll wait for you, but that's something that's maybe, like, something is terrifying you. And I think some of you feel like, I think it's nice and sweet to have a good emotional place, but I can't control this shit, you know? And, you know, if that's the case, damn, that's fucked up. So that's the past, this is the present, and the future is the um, Eight of Wands reverse. So, oh no, that's not the cards we're reading. Those are the extensions, okay. So the past is the High Priestess, oh wonderful. Ooh, the King of Cups reverse. Ooh, the devil. So somebody is absolutely obsessed with you, right? Just completely, madly in love. Or you are feeling this way about someone else. And that's why you are just tormented up at night, can't sleep. Because, like, you guys are really emotionally dependent on each other. And I think you really like how they fuck, too. Like, y'all get nasty, nasty. And, you know, your subconscious mind is telling you that this is the direction to go in. And this is your mate. And this is who you want to be with. And I say that because the High Priestess is adorned in purple. And purple is always a, a royalty color. And it's always something high. And she's facing you. And the King of Cups, uh, which is you, you're facing her. You guys are facing each other. So, yeah, there's somebody in your life who you feel is your husband or who you feel is your significant other and you want to manifest that back or you want to manifest this relationship I don't think that they're going to let go of you as easily as they think I don't know if Kim Kardashian is done I don't know I think she's very drawn to Kanye and like if he starts getting help which I think he is that's who the high priestess is it looks like she may start having sex with him again. But I see some real good sex. I see some damn good sex. Yes, 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 yes. This could be some domination with the chains around their neck. Some of you are going to get into some type of sexual uh, industry. You're going to get into the sex industry, or you are because of money. And all this money is going to come. And it's going to be like, damn. I wish I wasn't such a sexy vixen. Alright. Otherwise. Otherwise, maybe you, you're going to spend money on prostitutes. Maybe you like chicks with dicks. Alright. I don't know. You ain't got to be ashamed of that. Otherwise, I see some of you, y'all just are in love and so you tripping that's all now that i like saw the end that's all it is all right i don't know if we're gonna have enough time but we're gonna take a look at what's going on here and your connection with your person yeah you just in love so you tripping but if you want different results, you better pull out some different emotional energy. Because that, that, I'm scared, I'm losing you. That kind of shit, don't bring them to you. That keeps them away. All right, so where is this connection with the my significant person going? All right, how does my significant person feel about me? All right, how does the... Um, Cross watcher, how does your person feel about you? What is Pisces hiding? What is my person hiding? Will this lead to commitment? Is there anyone else? And what is the outcome? And what else do I need to know? And this is how your person is feeling about you right now. 
Uh-oh, it's the sun reverse. So if you want to see the rest of the extended, the link is in the description box at the top of the comment section. It'll say click below for the Pisces extended reading. You'll be taken to Vimeo or to my website where for a nominal fee you can hear the rest of this extended reading. So the sun is in reverse. What does that mean? That means your person for the most part is happy, but you might need to do some things to bring the attraction back.